What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And before we get into today's topic, I wanted to kind of take a moment of silence. As many of you gamers and PC enthusiasts and tech enthusiasts might have heard, today a industry legend, John Bain, uh, aka Total Biscuit, has passed away. Uh, I wanted to kind of just share his story with those of you who don't know. He was a game reviewer and streamer with millions of subscribers, um, hundreds of thousands of Twitch subscribers as well. And he's been around for a long time. He's actually been someone that me and Perpetual Gamer have watched for years and years and years. And basically John's story was during the uh, Great Recession, he was looking for a way to make money and thought that he could do so by basically getting ad revenue on YouTube. This was all the way back in like 2009, 2010. He started out by reviewing games um, like WoW's Cataclysm. And you know, obviously through his sense of humor and his style, he was able to basically create for himself a career and an income. And it's important to know that because people like me or even people like Jay's Two Cents or Kyle Bitwit or Linus Tech Tips or you know even the tech tubey guys that have nothing necessarily to do with the gaming side of things uh, he kind of made it easier because it, you know he proved that it's possible to do that so you know John we uh, we loved you man thank you for all the good times that you had uh, but yeah I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge you know kind of what his contribution was he fought for cancer uh, for many years and uh, you know now uh, he has passed on. So the topic of today's video, we're gonna kind of keep it short and sweet, is the eight core Intel Coffee Lake variant. Now we've got some details um, that came out the other week, but we got some more details today, specifically TDP um, of this CPU. Now the um, unclocked, or sorry, the unlocked version, I should say, um, is a 95 watt with the um, basically locked version being 85 watt. So this is uh, both uh, you know, 10 and 20 watts respectively below, um, you know, kind of Ryzen's offering with the 2700X. So um, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how this performs. Um, from the samples we've got, we've seen an increase over the leak from last week where, um, you know, it was like 2.6, now it's 3.1 in terms of speed. It has the exact same amount of ca uh, cache as the Ryzen 7 series does, at least for the 2700X. Um, and remember that these are sampling, so I'm guessing that these speeds are gonna be much higher for the final release. Um, and it kind of puts Intel, you know, fans in a difficult position because um, we know that the 390 um, chipset, um, which is going to be the one that supports these um, eight core variants, uh, is backwards compatible. So you can bring your current, um, you know, eight, uh, you know, Intel eighth generation CPUs along with you. But what you can't do is go backwards. So if you're going to want to basically buy one of these new CPUs, you're going to have to buy a brand new motherboard. And yes, a lot of people who bought the Ryzen refresh, just barely, myself included, bought new motherboards, even though I didn't do that. But the point is that it's a choice. And by Intel not allowing a choice for their consumers, um, it's gonna potentially uh, keep a lot of people away from, I'm guessing, buying their products, especially because the core speeds, I'm not sorry, not core speeds, but the single core performance is much closer now for Ryzen than it was. The other thing to take into consideration is that um, we have not seen the 28, uh, 2800X from AMD. The rumor is they're kind of working on it and refining it to be a counter uh, counterbalance to um, the Intel 8 core from Coffee Lake. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Either way, it's good to have the competition stoked a little bit again. We've been a little stagnant waiting for new GPUs. And so it, I'm glad to see um, you know some new uh, technology right around the corner. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, if you like this video, again, I wanna kinda keep it short and to the point. Leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed, guys. If you haven't already, remember, I'm giving away a computer, basically, on my channel. All the things you need to make your first computer, hopefully, if you win. Um, the description or the link to the video is down in the description down below. Um, remember to use my Amazon affiliate link if you're buying anything, anything through Amazon as that directly supports me. Thank you to all my Patreons, all my people who watch me on Twitch on the weekends. I'll be back this weekend. I've been so sick, but obviously you can tell I'm much better. And I have a couple of videos coming up. I have one where I bought a GPU that was used for mining for gaming. I've been testing out for the last couple of weeks. So excited to kind of share my results with that. I also have a, uh, another GPU video that I'm doing specifically about those kind of those scam ones from China. And then I also have a RAM RGB upgrade video that I'm working on well. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on the channel. So yeah, get subscribed if you haven't already. But as always, we hope to see you next time here on Gear Dink.